Hi guys, how you doing? Uh, back with you with another Star Trek Online walkthrough. Uh, today I wanted to talk to you about starships, specifically your uh, choice of starship and your loadout. Uh, we find ourselves back on New Romulus. Uh, I seem to spend a lot of time hit between here and the Dyson Sphere. I've got to compliment the Star Trek Online uh, developers. That just looks beautiful, it really does. Anyway, back on track. Uh, what we need to do is go and find an exchange terminal. Now when you're on New Romulus, there's one over here just by the transporter pad in the staging area. There's various ways to buy ships within Star Trek Online. Uh, you can go to the Zen store. Uh, obviously Zen's the in-game currency that you have to buy uh, outside in the real world to give yourself some credits to buy things like ships, guns, duty officers, that kind of stuff. We have a look down there. You got all sorts of things, really sexy, uh, you know, great. But if you're on a low uh, to medium budget, it might not necessarily be your choice. Uh, the next possibility is buying a ship with dilithium. You can get a decent escort or a destroyer for anything from 80,000 dilithium upwards. Again, that can be a little bit cost prohibitive because dilithium is sometimes uh, a little bit pricey to collect. I mean, if we have a look at my inventory, uh, I've got 50,000 dilithium, so I'm just a little bit short of, uh, you know, the amount of iron minimum ship. Probably the cheapest uh, way of buying things in the Star Trek universe is energy credits. Uh, I've got just under 900,000 there, so I can buy a fair bit. Uh, what I didn't realise until recently was you can buy ships in the exchange. Now, if we go and have a look, uh, you've probably all seen the exchange before, so I'm not going to go through how that works just at the moment. That's not the point of this video. But if we go up here and type in mirror, as in what you're looking on the wall, we have a load of special requisition packs, uh, all ranging from about 100,000 energy credits upwards. And you can see they're ships basically. If you buy one, you can unlock one. Uh, and you'll have the hull of a ship which you can kit out. I mean, if we have a look at this patrol escort here, it is a uh, Federation starship, but from the mirror universe. So it's a way round actually having to spend all that in game currency. And there you go, the specs and everything on it are pretty decent. The only difference between a mirror universe ship and a normal ship is you get a load of, you know, uh, mirror universe paintwork all over it. But you can easily go to a Federation star base of any kind and customise the look of your ship on the outside. Once you buy the ship, you've got to worry about shields, weapons, consoles, crew. Uh, if we go to my character status, let me have a look at my ship. I bought this out of the uh, exchange. It's a Mirror Advanced Escort. Uh, when I got it, it had nothing with it. Now, doing a bit of research, I found plasma weapons were the best and the most powerful uh, weapons on there. They seem to pack a hell of a punch. Try and get uh, plasma cannons with an accuracy modifier on them because it boosts things up a bit. I've got three Mark 12s at the front. The idea with an escort is when you're flying into attack, do as much damage as possible, as quickly as possible. So to that end, I've got the three plasma cannons, quantum torpedo on the front side. When I fly under or past the target, I get another volume of my rear-facing pla plasma turrets. And I've got a nice little surprise there in the form of a green transphasic cluster torpedo. That fires a single torpedo, which then creates ten other transphasic mines which explode all over the target and do all sorts of great damage. So that's the weapons sorted. Uh, deflector array, uh, you need something that's going to give you a nice boost to your shields and your structural integrity. I've gone for the Positron Deflector Array Mark 10. So it seems to do alright by me. Uh, next, impulse engines. Uh, they're all pretty much of a muchness but uh, one of the missions you get unlocked Jem'Hadar combat impulse engines. I've had these for a while now. Uh, they seem to serve me okay. 
Uh, walk drive, again, much of a muchness, it's pretty much up to your choice. Shields, very important. Uh, I've got these Solin A Resilient Shield Array, uh, quite a nice shield capacity and shield regeneration, uh, and we do okay, and you get the occasional crit hit bonus and that sort of thing as well. Uh, devices, always have these stacked up, because when you're in combat, you never know when you need a quick shield recharge, uh, and obviously putting more power to your weapons as well. Uh, that one's handy, you get 75 weapons points in for 10 seconds, so you can do a great deal of damage. Consoles are the important thing, Let's work from top to bottom. Uh, tactical consoles. I've gone for what are called plasma infusers. Uh, this basically gives 22.5% more plasma energy weapon damage. I've got four of them. Do the maths. So uh, it, it does end up quite nice. Uh, so obviously with an escort, there's more emphasis on tactical. Uh, so that's what I've gone for. Uh, with the science consoles, I've tried to give my shields a bit of a boost, uh, improved health and improved regeneration. All things you need in a fight, good weapons, good shields. Uh, and with the engineering consoles, just as a backup, uh, I've added a bit of hull plate into my ship just to give myself a bit of energy weapon resistance and obviously a bit more shield power as well. So that's the basis of it. All of this can be bought in the exchange for next to no budget. As long as you've got a decent amount of energy credits, away you go. Uh, if I beam up now, okay, what I'll do is go and pick a fight with somebody, and then you can see how all this works in practice. And dee -dee 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 -dee. Should be quick loading because at this time of day, it usually is. Uh, I'm in the UK. Uh, just in case you wanted to know, but hell, if you didn't, celebrate. Let's get out of the new Romulus system. There's my ship. Until I discovered this neat trick with the exchange, I was actually uh, going around in a big hulky sovereign class with low weapons power, and I didn't know what the hell I was doing. Uh, so it is very good. If you go on YouTube, you can find videos about how you can create destroyers and things on low budget. They're all over the place, including this one. Uh, right, let's go to a map. I know there's trouble in the Karay system, so we're going to have a look there. No, my luck, I'm trying to show you how this works, and somebody will blow me up. Uh, actually, no, we won't go to the Karay system. We'll go and have a look at that contact there because the Karay system can take quite a while and for the sake of this video, it might bore you. Uh, right, we've got Foley in trouble. Let's go get him. Okay, we've got plenty of ships inbound. So, let's see what we got. No, it doesn't look like there's anyone sitting there at the moment. Let's get out. I might go to the Cray system after all, just to give you a little taster. That's a good uh, hint as well. When you jump into a system, get some, uh, get yourself near fleet ships because they do give off some nice attack bonuses, which have an effect on you as well. Uh, right, Cray system. I won't do the full mission obviously it's way too long but it will give you some idea of what's going on. Starbase 24, we'll just skip straight past that. You can see as well while we're on route uh, you've got a daily patrol in the Tau Dua sector uh, where you can go around and patrol different systems and you get 60 Romulan marks for it so once a day I always go and do that. Do, 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 nearly there, enter Korea system. Right, here we go. And straight away, you should see an almighty great furball in front of us. There it is. A nice Romulan patrol captain comes up and goes, Help! So we go, continue. Let's target the big boy. Now, we want speed and we want power. So cannon rapid fire, torpedo spreads. And let's see that happen. Oh, 
idea of a patrol escort. You want to get in and out quick, do as much damage as possible. And you can see we've knocked the hell out of him. We'll deal with this first wave. There you go, that's a nice return. Two lots of take items. Tachyon deflector away. And a Hiroja mock box. So I've got a few of those now. Look out in the exchange. I might be flogging a few of them. Now it's very tempting when you get ship based consoles and items to immediately look at them as a prize and upgrade or put them on your ship. Be very careful to fall into that trap because you could be upset in a critical loadout which could affect you. My advice is sell them, get the energy credits. There's another one. So you can see the sheer power. If we get a bit of shield problem, uh, this is a handy ability to have Science Team 1. It gives you a nice recharge. Back swing around, give him what for? Another torpedo spread, cannon rapid fire. You've got to watch these buggers because they hold you in place. And their mother ship can do a great deal of damage. There we go, that's got him out. Took a bit of a beat in there. There's an animal lights of dust. There, we can head again. They're basically tractor mines. They hold you in place and their main ships can do some damage to you. Alright, we need to back around, put our strongest shield, call in support, uh, full power weapon systems, give ourselves a bit of power there. Now we're in real trouble now. Whee! That's what happens. Anyway, we'll call that respawn point a place to stop. Uh, I got blown up there because I was careless. I got caught out in the middle of too many at once. It happens. But the handy thing with this game, you can just respawn straight away and carry on where you left off. Now, remember, uh, go to the exchange. You can find a decent hull. Get your weapons, get your console boosts, get the right officers, uh, and that's great. And then go and pick a fight and do your missions. Uh, anything that you pick up console wise, weapon wise be very careful uh, before using it because you could upset your loadout uh, with my spectacular explosion there I'm going to end this walkthrough uh, if you like what you see or it was a help please subscribe to my channel, share it around there will be more uh, thanks a lot now guys, have a good day bye